With a bitter winter on the horizon in 526, it was vital that Cervania's northern army front begin making its way south toward Ludo, and more importantly, down from Hetland's northern highland. Hetland's 6th Army Infantry Division had all the time and resources it needed to properly fortify the pass. Anti-aircraft batteries and artillery batteries dotted the mountainsides, and positions had been dug into any passable terrain. Nevertheless, the crippling effects from the raid on Castle Dazic Oh my god, the best para invasion ever had manifested for the Royal Flying Service. Cervanian 2nd Army Corps is faced with dwindling supplies and threatening weather should they delay any longer and must run the gauntlet. Hetland faces the bulk of its defenses in the south being flanked should 6th Infantry not stop the invaders. The clash to take place in and above this frigid mountain pass is one neither side can afford to lose. Welcome back to Ravenfield. This is part of Fifth Smell's Project Alteris. It's one of the, I think, holistically one of the best mods for Ravenfield on the Steam Workshop. It's incredible. So let's look at what each faction, kind of their challenges and what they're facing. So the Eagle Team, or the Cervanians, they've got the 3rd Armored Division North Air Detachment 1, both fighting together, right? So the pass has been heavily fortified. They've got artillery, anti-aircraft, and entrenched positions guarding the only routes that the Cervanians can pass through. So when you look at the Team Raven, or Hetland, only chance for breaking out of the Highlands is through the Mountain Pass. That means they're going to have to be... They're going to have to throw everything they can as you're playing as the Raven or Hetlands, right? The bad news is they've got a lot. They've got infantry, they've got armor, which you need to counter with artillery, fighters, and armor support of your own. So, let's get into the action. All right, so I wanted to first try out Team Raven, aka the Hetland, and I like how the Raven, they've got a little bit of red on their uniforms. So this is the mountain pass, right? So let's check the map. All right, so they should be coming from what? On top, oh. Oh, shoot. Those are some rocket artillery batteries up there. I've got a snipe rifle, right? And you can see that we've got some defensible machine guns. So we're going to be first playing as the defenders, then we're going to be playing as the attackers. We've got various trench systems laid out. Oh, hold on, hold on. We've got some aircraft taking off right now. The rocket batteries are firing already. Oh, my God. This is, this is bad. This is bad. Okay. I need to try to counter snipe those things. Those guys, they have the high ground. Hold on. All right, I'm in slow motion. Now, let's see how how bad the bullet drop is. Oh, we got a hit. Well, son of a biscuit. That was awesome. I just took that guy out. Okay. All right. So I'm in slow motion to help. Dude, I haven't All right, guys, I'm back from a week in Ireland. If you want to see pictures, I've got them up on the Instagram. I've got two Instagrams right now I'm trying to figure out how to do that, you know, like I have got like my travel one and then my gaming one. Baron Von Games for gaming, Baron's Adventures for travel. Oh, but like I haven't held a mouse. Hold on, is this the right sensitivity? All right, this is the way I like it. Okay, I was like, that doesn't seem normal at all. So we're gonna have to what? Counter snipe. Yeah, counter snipe the artillery guys. Here come the planes. So it looks like we've got the medium style bombers. Oh, he's dropping bombs. Oh my god, he's dropping bombs right now. Oh, just barely missed. He took out the machine gunner. Alright. Which ones are theirs? Oh! Oh, they took out the machine gun. They took out our static defenses here. Now, if I had a wrench, I wonder if I could repair this. We've got another guy up there. So we're on the front lines, right? Oh, we've got a... Got what, an anti-tank gun? Speaking of any tanks, we've got, oh, we've got armor, and I love how they're, the troops are on top of them right now. Headshot! See ya, Void! Have a good one, buddy. Actually, go to sleep and never come back. Because we don't want you here fighting me. Ooh, it looked like it hit him in the left shoulder. Alright, do I have my anti-tank gun? Oh, oh, shoot! Cotton! Man, their artillery, look at that artillery battery. It's awesome, rocket artillery. Alright, so I'm thinking... We may want to use the anti-tank rifle. Oh my god, they're they're pretty much right up there. I saw on the map that the infantry were right here. There's a lot of them. Alright, I'm gonna try to AT that tank. I think I got a hit. I'm gonna try to take it out before it gets too close. If they overrun our position with that tank, we are pretty much screwed. I, I really wish I could do a battle simulator style. Oh my gosh, cotton on the hills, man. Whoa. 
Yeah, those guys are wrecking us. Hmm. Let's see. If I spawn back here, it looks like we have a number of vehicles available. As well as... Oh, here we go. Here we go. Okay. So the Hets. I'm going to call them the Hets because it's H-E-T-L-A-N. L-A-N-D. Look at that. Oh, man. This thing is dope. All right. I'm going to need... Soldier. Wait, what's that? That's a totally different style tank. Here we go. We're at the airfield. Oh, I recognize the the models of these planes here. And they've got winter camo on. I love it. So, Hetland Air Force. Sorry, bud. I mean, you can you can try to get on, but I wouldn't recommend it. So, we're up in the air. Look at this, baby. Fixed landing gear. Two under the wings, one under the tail. Oh, I love the way the machine gun sound. We somehow took some damage, I'm not entirely sure. If you look in the lower left there... So here we go, flying over the defenses. Now right there... ...is where the artillery and the tanks are. So the airfield's back there. Artillery and tanks are right here. That looks like a pretty strong position. And then we're gonna be approaching the front lines, I believe? I'm not sure where the enemy... Oh wait, I think... The enemy rocket artillery is up here on these hills, so let's see if we can't strafe them. Alright, so let's see. Yeah, there's the rocket artillery. Some infantry massing up for their approach. And their assault down there, so... They are basically flanking that front trench system. Ooh. That guy's going after a parachuting pilot. Very, very rude. Is this the enemy airfield? Yeah, this looks like the enemy airfield. Alright. There's a bomber. I'm gonna try to just strafe this bomber till it blows up. There we go. An attacker. Okay, so that wasn't the bomber. So they've got, what, three biplanes? And then their attacking plane. I know I've seen bombers out here. Let's check the map. Yeah, we're... past all of it. Okay, so let's, let's swing back around. Strafe another one. Disable them. I, it'd be cool if they had fixed amounts, so then, like... Raiding the enemy airfield. Here we go. This is their armor area. I'm wondering if we might want to go back and add a lot more bots than we have right now. Oh, here we go. Alright, now we're gonna get a really good view on those camouflage tanks. Oh, the front one had the passengers. I was trying to strafe some passengers. It looks like some nice light tanks. Alright, that's gonna be my objective is to try to fly back and strafe the infantry. You can hear the rockets going, actually, so I might want to... Oh, there's the bomber. Big heavy boy. I think I got a few of them. Maybe one or two. But we need to hold that flag. I actually think the enemy took it, maybe. All right, where's those rocket artillery? This map is huge, man. Oh, we got a, we got a Banner R6. Oh, you hear those rockets firing? That's amazing. Oh, man. This isn't good. I might have to bail out. Yep, I'm gonna have to bail out. Alright. Oh, shoot. There's the enemy. Oh, man. I'm in, I'm in a bad spot, guys. Oh! Get over the hill! Dude, we need winter camo. I guess we've got more force. Woodland camo? Alright. I'm gonna try to heal up. I don't have the best gun for engaging at long distance. It's like a light machine gun, almost like an assault rifle. I think I got some hits, but... Here we go. Look, another pilot is, is parachuting out. Alright, so... Let's see... Yeah, we didn't take... The, the enemy took this position. Alright, this thing is trash at long range. Which should be expected. If it's not... Let's see, if I, if I go prone, it looks like it has a bipod on the front. Alright, so let's... Redeploy... And get some tanks. I want to try out the new tanks. Because it looks like there was, like, almost self-propelled artillery, maybe? Alright, here we go. So we've got a light tank with a little machine gun. I wonder how many seats this one is. Oh, I think I've played this. Yeah, I've definitely seen this one before. You've seen it before, haven't you, Gollum? Look at this. This looks like what? Definitely self-propelled artillery? Oh, man, look at these. The, what is this, a triple or a quad? Quad what? Maybe... I'm guessing 25 millimeter? Auto cannons? Oh yes, thank you, sir. Oh, I love it. That's one of our planes. Whoops, sorry, buddy. So, it's pretty interesting location. I wonder if this thing could shoot down planes pretty well. Now, I'm gonna go with a... Oh, here we go. 
Oh, all the boys are getting, getting in the tanks. All right, I'm gonna go with them. I'm gonna use this one. Where are we going, guys? Let's get on up to the front. So yeah, with more bots, we'd have more going on. <laughs> with more, you'd have more. Surprise! Now these artillery pieces look like they could double as any aircraft as well. So obviously it's gonna be a little bit of a drive. So I'll, I'll wake you guys up. Go ahead, you know, pop your feet up in the back. You know, pop some music in. And uh, I'll, I'll get back in a moment. So check this out. <laughs> the infantry on top of this medium tank are, are shooting at the planes right now. <laughs> That's awesome. Be cool if you could like mount like a machine gun on the top. And then it would act as like a static defense, but like that the person could ride on the top. And you could shoot him right off of it. That'd be pretty sweet. Oh shoot. Heavy bomber. Ooh. That was close. Okay, so as we approach the front lines, you can see the air battle is just getting crazy. It takes a long time, so I guess that's one thing, is this- this map is so big, it would definitely have a, a like, it had- it would have a long playthrough. Like, you could play it from start to finish, you know, capping from one side to the next, and it would take a decent amount of time. Longer than your average Ravenfield map. Hello. So we've got- I've only got high explosive rounds. I'm gonna try to hit one of these planes out of the air if they fly by. Ooh, look at that little armored truck going. Hey, buddy! Oh, here we go. Oh, that was a terrible shot. I think I need to get direct hits. They're not like... air burst rounds or anything like that. So trying to shoot a biplane out of the sky would probably be very, very, very hard. Alright. We've made it to the front, guys. We've got friendly infantry, we've got machine gun trucks, and then static machine gun positions. Gosh, this map is giant! We're literally fighting in, like, one of the biggest mountain ranges. Alright, so I'm trying to... Here we go, let's see who's who. That machine gun looks like it's shooting at me. And that's a blue spot, so let's target it. Oh, a little high. There we go! Yeah, so that was an enemy. I think they might even be on those artillery pieces. That one looked like the shell skipped. Didn't it? Doesn't look like they skipped? So here we go, they may have artillery, right? But we've got mobile artillery. Alright boys, so there's the medium tank. My goal here will be to support that medium tank. If we can, we can probably push through. If not, we're probably gonna be overrun. They're gonna take this position if they defeat our armored counterattack, And they're just gonna be able to walk through, and then through a war of attrition, they look like they're gonna win it. So I've gotta keep that tank alive. We've got a few infantry here. Wait, is that a- is that a tank right there? I think it is, yeah, it's charging us. Oh man, my HE rounds aren't gonna... It's gonna take a little bit. There we go, we took it out though. It looked like something was over there. Alright guys, we gotta- we gotta take this. Alright, so now I have to support these infantry. Wow! I was expecting- Dude, we need direct hits with these. There's a guy running, look at him! Oh shoot, I didn't get a direct hit. Oh man, I'm missing. The infantry that charged the flag are no longer with us. Rest in pepperonis, boys. Yeah, I think for this HE it needs better anti-infantry characteristics, because if you look in the lower left, it's not an armor-piercing round because it shows the armor that it's- that it's penetrating is very small. Right? So, HE, high explosive. Not AP, armor-piercing. BOOM! Oh man, we're missing. Yeah, I think we don't have enough to counterattack. I'm gonna try to do my best here. I'm gonna get in there and try to take it, but I'm not expecting any good results. Let's see. And I've got no machine guns, so they could anti tank me, but we've, we've gotta do it, man. Oh, we hit him in the legs and he flipped up. Look at their uniforms, they look awesome. All right, where's my reinforcements? And we're not taking the flag, so that's another thing. I would love to be able to increase or decrease the cap space for the flag. Oh my gosh, I love hitting it in the ground. Wait, we're s we we kind of did. We began to take it. Where's my reinforcements, guys? Hold on. Oh no, man. We took a Otama. All right, so now we're gonna play as the Cervanians or Eagle. Are these two different style tanks? They definitely look like this one has a rounded turret. So this is what. Maybe more medium? Here we go. Alright, all aboard, boys! Yes! Look at this! Dude, these guys look awesome. So this is the Cervanian forces. 
Now, let's see, where do we want to go? I think I'm going the wrong way. Yeah, I was definitely going the wrong way. We've got a big armor push, so I figured I wanted to go first with the tanks, and then secondarily, I wanted to play as the artillery in the aircraft. Because I feel like I'm putting myself in a very key spot. So it looks like these are the medium tanks, and I think the other one's probably light tanks. But I can't really tell. Maybe they're heavies, like... Alright, so let's see. Oh, maybe... Oh, I've got a machine gun, and I've got... What is this? Is this a high explosive round? Maybe I was firing armor piercing round. They just didn't have very good armor piercing characteristics. That looks like AP. I'm looking at the explosions. Yeah, actually... So maybe we were using high explosive rounds, but they were probably just like... Maybe it was such a low caliber... Anti-tank- or cannon, right? Because if you think about it, like, the, uh... Project Altera seems to kind of flow between, technology-wise, like, between World War One and World War Two, and, you know, you know, our history. So I'm gonna load up HE rounds here as the tanks come in pushing, man. We're gonna be firing- we're not gonna be too accurate at distance, but... Dude, this is gorgeous, mate. I love this. I wonder- alright. Place a bet, guys. Do you think these three guys that are on my tank, any one of them survive this attack? Because I'm going straight for that flag. Alright, give me cover. We got our mountain troops coming in from <laughs> the mountains. Wow, one of the tanks is just burnt and destroyed. We gotta try to avoid anti-tank cannons. They're opening fire. It looks like we're already gonna- Oh! What happened? One guy survived that. Was that a cannon round that hit us? Oh, here we go. Oh, shoot. Oh my god. This is- Oh! Gee- Oh my god. We just got straight wiped out. Alright, so then here's the artillery place, right? Let's see if I can't get some rocket artillery and kind of suppress them. Because I'm really curious about this weapon system. It's a totally new weapon system. So here's all the mountain soldiers. Alright, so we need to make our way down here. Oh my gosh, look at this. Oh, this is great. Alright, soldier. Step aside. Alright, so I just I opted for a restart just because I really want to see how effective these things are at the beginning. So here we go. You can see the enemy massing down there. Now we gotta target them. Now these things aren't gonna be super accurate. Oh my god. Ooh, those are good. What the heck was that? Brad with the counter artillery piece. I need to be aiming for him. Shoot, look at how many soldiers are spawning in. So I, al I also doubled the amount of soldiers, overall soldiers, in this one. I'll get my pistol. It's like a nice snub-nosed little pistol here. Alright, soldier. Mine. Alright, so I need to find the artillery over there and target them. Oh my god, that was a perfect shot by them. They took out the rocket artillery! Jeez. They're- they're really effective with that counter-artillery. I did- I had no idea how intense this spot was. I was like, oh, we get a shoot down and there's not much to counter us. Soldier? If you don't mind. Oh, wow, this thing's almost dead. Alright, we're forcing a reload here. Wow, the reload is- uh, it takes forever. Which I guess makes sense. There we go, we- we start with eight. Now our tanks just arrived. So I'm just kind of like trying to- oh my god, look how inaccurate these are. I actually think some of these rockets may have hit some of my friendly forces, but I'd like to think that I suppressed the enemy infantry that were defending that position, because if you look now... Now we've got like, those tanks down there. Yeah, we've got tanks overrunning it. It looks like we're gonna be pretty good. Okay. So now I'm gonna fly- I wanna- I wanna go back to the airfield. Alright, so let's see what we got. We've got the little biplane fighters. This is the attacker? If I could- ooh, here we go. Alright, I've got my... I'm gonna have a gunner here, so it's a mono... Here we go. Hop on board, get- yes, we got a gunner! Watch out, buddy! Watch out for the props and the wings, man! Shoot! Dude, look at this. So the camo pattern's pretty funny. It's like, what? Oh, a, a winter camo? 
with the white and the green. I guess if you're flying overhead, it, it might look compelling. So we got rockets. Yeah, we've got some surf, or, you know, air-to-ground rockets, unguided rockets. And then it looks like I've got some machine gun. Let's see. Oh, those sound beefy on the wings. That's pretty good. Alright, so here's what my cockpit looks like. So we hold that flag. Oh, you know what I'm gonna try to do is... I want to try to suppress their artillery. There we go. Alright, so we took out... Did we take it out? No, it looks like... While it's d man, they still have it. Oh, there's their big artillery. That's what they're using. So they have these small anti-tank guns in the front. Then they've got the big heavy artillery there. It looks like... I don't see any... That one might... Right off my tail. That one might be a fixed machine gun. There's a friendly fighter flying overhead. It looks like we got air superiority. There we go. We just strafed one of those artillery positions. Ooh, there's two tanks. Two tanks loaded with infantry. That is our mission. Come on, baby. Reload those rock. Oh, no. We almost just got taken out by an enemy fighter. All right. I've got a good line. This is a one-way mission, I think. Oh, dude, get up. Look at that. We took them both out. Oh, I just pooped. I pooped my pants as I got shot in the pancreas. Oh my gosh. Oh, that plane just ripped apart as it collided. Whoa! Is that my plane? Look at it. It was just like hydroplaning kind of a thing. Alright, so we're back at the airfield. We've got the attacker. I'm gonna go for a fighter this time. Something nimble and quick. Sorry, bud. Now, I haven't seen the bomber, so this thing should be super agile. Woo! All right, so if we consult the map, it looks like we're still stuck. We have not taken over that first point. No, we did. We, we've taken over one of them. I'm actually going to see if I can't capture the airfield in the back. If we take out their airfield, then we definitely get air superiority. And it would be much easier to impose our will on the enemy team. Oh, it looks like someone... Looks like he almost landed down there. One of the- some of the biplanes are flying really, really low down there, getting in some dog fights and doing some ground and pound. That's the big boy bomber right there. Hold on. He's getting shot at. Two enemy fighters up in the air. As long as they don't see me, I'll sneak by. Red team is victorious. I can't see, man. Get that off my screen! Oh, shoot. That sounds close. Oh, he's- he's kind of on my six. Oh, evasive maneuvers! Oh, man. Alright. Oh, oh, here we go, here we go. This guy's about to take off. There we go. We took him out. Now, where's the flag? Oh, shoot. The flag's way back there. Enemy planes flying overhead. They could strafe me if they wanted. They are- they're, they're, they're trying to strafe me. God, this is- this is- I don't know why I did it this way. I should have gotten a bigger plane... ...and gotten some friends to join me. And maybe a submachine instead of this? Ooh, but we are taking it. Yeah, if I had a squad with me? Or a transport plane with some... Paratroopers? Look at this. Oh! Oh, shoot! That actually worked! We took them out. I just need them not to be able to respawn. Oh, shoot! Maybe this was the perfect gun. M maybe a shotgun would have been better? Okay, I don't think they can respawn anymore. Since it went from neutral and now is favoring our team. I only had four rounds left in the- in the mag. Or in the, I guess you could say, what? The drum- the drum mag? Yeah, it's a drum mag. Alright, here we go. So I'm gonna respawn, and I'm thinking I want a submachine gun as my primary. Then with this, I'm gonna go with a flamethrower. And I'm gonna respawn here. Now, we have the enemy's fighter planes, but I'm wondering- let's see what happens. Aha! Here we go. Alright, so it's time to do another covert operation. Here, I'm gonna try to pair drop in there. Actually, I think I'm gonna pair drop into the hills. It looks like there's a more remote area. This one I'm about to fly over. On the left wing, it seems pretty intense fighting right there. So not the optimum spot for, you know, a commando mission, but let's check. Yeah. Oh yeah, that's the enemy armor depot right there. So this is the one I was thinking. Their mountain spot. Wait, wait, wait. Actually, there's one further out here. Oh, shoot! 
We just got shot straight out of the air by that. Oh, no. Oh, wow. That anti-aircraft artillery is incredibly powerful. All right, I'm gonna opt for an attacking plane and wait for someone to join with me. So I should be able to tell him to jump out, right? All right, no one can't... Well, there you are, soldier. Come on, boy. Get in. Ooh, <laughs> he got in right in time. All right, so we're passing by the friendly rocket artillery on the hill, the valley where most of the battles are happening, and then I'm flying. I'm going to try to fly straight because there's a little bit of a base up there. It looks like we have a few friendly soldiers there. That's where I'm going to try to parachute out. I do see an enemy tank moving on the map. Trying to find them. I don't see them anymore. Oh, there they are. Right off my right wing. That's an enemy tank. Do we have any friendly soldiers? We do. So let's let's soften them up with some rockets. It's gonna be hard to tell who's who. Oh, that's a lot of enemy soldiers, isn't it? Yeah, that's a ton of them. Oh no, an accident. We smashed ourselves on the hillside. Okay, that didn't work out too well. So let's check it out. So overall, this map is amazing. It's really, really fun. We got to do a commando mission and took this airfield back here. So let's actually deploy back there. Where we now, we've taken away the enemy's ability to have uh, any aircraft, I think. They might have, I don't know, I, I thought I saw some others. So we just have tons of planes. Here we go, like just flying overhead, strafing the enemy, right? But we haven't been able to kind of like capitalize off of that and take any more points. It's a pretty even battle and obviously you can customize everything, right? But, as the map plays right now, it allows you to really go and play a decent amount of time. Like, if you wanted to just play a map for an hour, maybe even more, you could definitely do that in this. So here we go. We're gonna try to land here. Okay, good. Oh shoot, oh shoot, oh shoot! Alright, we dropped that. Oh my god, that's dangerous over there. Alright, reload. We definitely need some reinforcements here. Oh my god, they're coming! Yeah, so this is pretty intense around here. This is, seems to be the hotbed of the enemy activity. Oh my god! What was that? This guy came in with like some explosives. Anyway guys, thanks for watching another video of Ravenfield. This one is the Project Altiris by Fifth Smell. He's got a Kofi link, basically like if you, if you like his work and you want to support his work, you can, you can basically buy him coffee, which is pretty cool. He's an amazing guy. We're talking about making some maps together, so if you got any ideas for maps, put them in the comments below, and I'll see you guys in the next video.